This is Pastor Marquise Franklin from New Creation Christian Center presenting to you a word for today by Annis Faye. We pray that these short devotionals will impact your life. Now let's tune in. So the question has to be answered. How did Peter transform from the guy who said, Lord, I don't know you, to the, the guy that says, Lord, I'll stand in the face of persecution for you? What happened? Well, Peter had to be prepared spiritually for what he thought he was prepared for naturally. See, Peter thought that his sword would carry the day. And therefore, he didn't need to be prepared any other way. And that's kind of like, and I don't know, I've been, I've been watching a show called Preppers lately. And this is about a show about people who believe that there's some doomsday event coming. So they're getting their family rallied together. They're building bomb shelters. They're digging caves. Some of them are building additions to the house to store food. And this one I was watching, this guy, he lived in Maine, and he was teaching his children how to live off the land. And he showed them how to get water out of moss. So they pick up a, 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 a batch of moss, you know, moss that grows on the ground. They ring it out. They told his son, open your mouth and drink it. And this, this will save you. And so he's teaching them all these things because he believes there's some doomsday event happening. But let me just tell you something. If there's a, if there's a nuclear war, you're not going to live on them. There ain't going to be no land to live on. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what. And so you have to prepare spiritually just as you try to prepare naturally. Amen. A lot of people, <clears throat> excuse me, prepare naturally. Now, you know, when the Y2K thing was supposed to happen, people got generators. I was one of them. People got food. I was one of them. I was preparing, but, you know, I was like, and then we had, we had a, uh, we went out and bought a new grill so that we could cook on the grill if we didn't have power. I mean, we, because our generator could power the house, but it couldn't power the, big appliances, because your stove and your um, your washer and your dryer are 220s, which means that they draw more power. So most generators, unless they're you know, commercial generators, they only power the house, but they won't power the stove and the, the washer and the dryer. So anyway, we got all that stuff, and we were ready, and you know, Y2K didn't come, or it came and went. But it wasn't, and there's nothing wrong to be prepared, but see, you have to prepare spiritually as well as naturally. Amen. You can't be, you can't prepare naturally for a spiritual attack. And, you know, no matter how many guns you have, you can't shoot the devil. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to prepare spiritually. Peter, although thought he was prepared naturally, was not prepared spiritually. He was not committed to what he said he was committed to. That's why he denied the Lord. He said he would die for the Lord, but when the opportunity came for him to die, what did he say? I don't know. I don't know that guy. Yes, you do. I saw you, but I don't know him. That's not the guy I've been hanging out with. I'm a fisherman. Does that guy look like a fisherman? But when he became prepared spiritually, which was the day of Pentecost, when he was filled with the Spirit now, now he's empowered to do the spiritual job he's called to do. And in the face of persecution, in the face of threats, in the face of beatings, he still is faithful to God. Look at the transformation of Peter. He goes from somebody who doesn't know the Lord to somebody who rejoices that he gets beat for the Lord. Now, how many of us would be doing that after a beating? Get somebody to get you in there and whip your back up and, and you, you get up and start shouting. Oh, I just got beat for Jesus. Hey! <laughs> no, we'd be, we'd be, Lord, why, why me? I'm the man to go through all that. You know, I've been, you know, I've been praying and fasting. 
fasting and them folks don't even pray over there. Why did they get beat? That's how most of us would respond. But Peter rejoiced that he was accounted worthy to be beaten. His whole mindset was changed. Why? Because now he was spiritually equipped to do what he was called to do and not just naturally equipped. Amen? He didn't pull out his sword and start, who's first? Who's first? Who's first? First, touch me, touch me, and I, you're going to lose a hand. No, he didn't do all that anymore. He trusted God. I don't know what it takes for us to see that you have to be committed to God before you can stand for God. We pray that this message has encouraged you today. And we invite you to join us Saturday nights at 7 p.m. in the Emerald City Bible Fellowship building located at 7728 Rainer Avenue South, Seattle, Washington, 98118. Once again, that's Saturday nights at 7 at 7728 Rainer Avenue South, Seattle, Washington, 98118. If you have any prayer requests, comments, or questions, visit our website, newcreationwa.org. And on there, we have our links to our Facebook and Twitter sites as well. We would love to hear from you. God bless you.